What's going on, everybody? This is DJ Paradigm. Welcome back to A Dime's Worth. Thank you guys for always tuning in. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Shure SLXD wireless combo system. All right, this combo system comes with your receiver box, your wireless handheld mic, your body pack transmitter, and of course, your lavalier uh, condenser microphone. So it comes with the, they call it the dual because it comes with, of course, your wireless and your live. It's going for a thousand dollars right now. I can Bruh. get you a hundred and fifty dollars off of it. If you guys would like it, just let me know. But let's go through what it comes with. All right. It comes with, of course, your wireless mic right here, which is a really nice build for a microphone. Um, it's all metal. If you can hear it. So it's very sturdy. Uh, of course, you put your AA batteries in here. You just open the back up, pop it open. Shows you where to place them. So let's go like this. And then go like that. Close it. You'll hear it snap. And there you go. So this microphone is really nice. Let's get up close real quick so you guys can see it. Um, of course, you see the readout, and it also has the battery life right there. So that is very important for me, especially just because, you know, whether we're doing speeches or anything like that, it has the battery readout. All right. So this is the SM58, of course, by sure, the standard microphone but it's definitely very heavy, very sturdy. Um, and it's a very clean microphone, so it's gonna be hard to break. SLX D1 body pack transmitter. And put my battery in here, open this up. This pops out just like this. It's held on, of course. Take your batteries, pop them in. Snap it up, and as you can see right in there, you will take your live mic, make sure you got it set, and snap it in, and you'll hear it snap, and it's very sturdy, see I'm pulling on it, so let's cut it on, and if you cut it on, you can see that um, it also shows the battery life. And right here, you have your menu and your enter. So let's go ahead and click that. See menu, enter. So if you click menu, you can go inside the menu and you can change your mic gain, uh, your high pass filter, which is awesome. So let's actually turn the high pass filter on. So let's go through that filter on. So I keep that on just in case uh, anything were to go over it wouldn't pick it up so this is a very very nice heavy and weighted microphone so so this is what i always do i always crimp and get like a a, a good portion of it and what i do is i stick it through the clasp part right here and then you want to open this up and you can send it through and the reason why i put this here is so when you clip it inside uh, you can put this inside their actual shirt so it'll look like this so when you clip this in you can tuck this inside their shirt so you know it's secure then you can attach your cover like that cool so if you want to look uh you can see that it has that um and it has a little green led there is no mute on it so it's either on or off uh you know so you can cut it off you can cut it on and it shows up and it pops up all right so now let's go through the receiver and i'll walk you through that all right so of course you want to hook up your antennas antenna a and antenna b like 
that. All right. Hook up your second antenna like that. Cool. And you just point them up, 45 degree angle or uh, angle like that, 45. Also a little bit of tilt to it. All right, so let's hook this up. So I've just hooked up my receiver to my mixing board. Today, we're just gonna be using the Yamaha MG06X. Uh, we just use it for simple ceremonies. Of course, your XLR from your receiver into your line and then out to your speaker. And for today's speaker, we're gonna be using JBL-1, which is an awesome uh, powered speaker. It's been great for me for small ceremonies and cocktail hour. Uh, if you guys wanna hook up on the JBL, just hit me up too. Um, so let's go ahead and go through this. So once you power it on, you can turn the knob and you'll see where you're at, your channel, uh, your gain, um, your megahertz, things like that. To go into the actual menu, you're just going to hit your knob, which is very sturdy, very nice, uh, feels very good. It's a really hard metal. Um, so let's just go ahead and set it up. You just hit frequency setup, guided frequency setup, initialize my system right there. And it's going to group scan. So when it group scans, you just push the knob and it's going to ask you to turn off all transmitters. So let's go ahead and make sure your mic is off as well as your live pack is off. And then you're going to hit the knob and start the scan. And then you hit a sign. And then it's assigned to one of one receivers. And now it is time to sync. Cut your mic on right there. Then you hit sync and you have your IR scanner and your IR, then you scan it. Perfect. So one tip that I've learned uh, with working with some awesome DJs, uh, shout out my man DJ Rang, is when you are using your microphones, you always want to start your gain all the way down. So if you can hear it now, uh, all I did was adjust my level and left my gain all the way down. So, so just in case you need to actually pick up your bride or you need to pick up your groom during the actual ceremony or anybody else that's around the officiant, you could turn up your gain so it picks up the surrounding area. All right. So... We've just checked your wireless mic, sounds amazing. Um, and we will test that out this weekend. So let's go ahead and sync your lapel mic. All right, so after we go ahead and cut off our wireless mic, we can go ahead and sync our lavalier mic. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? So super easy. All you have to do is cut your lavalier mic on. And then if you look on one side, you'll see enter menu. But if you look on the other side, you'll see the IR sensor right there. So you just take your IR sensor, and you put it right there to that IR sensor. And you hold down your sink and you have success. And that's it, that's all you do. And I always suggest that if you are doing this, uh, you make sure you do this at every event, every gig, uh, anytime you're using it in a different venue, I would just do it. I highly recommend doing it, even going through the actual options of uh, making sure you go through the frequency setup and everything else like we did the first time to start the scan. So. I do this every time at every gig. Um, and don't forget to always start with the gain all the way down, all right? So we're good to go. That's gonna be it for today's episode for the Shure SLX-1 wireless combo system. If you guys like it and you guys are interested and you wanna save $150, all you gotta do is hit subscribe, hit like, hit me on Instagram, at DJ Paradigm, and I will go ahead 
and I will send you guys my promo code, all right? But once again, man, appreciate y'all for always tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>